I mean, Jim, I, you know, obviously I, I know what's going on, but give, give, uh, give the viewers a, an idea of, of what your background was, what your father's, your family business was, your decision to do what you did, the Western town and so on and so forth. So it was a very interesting ride with my father. He was a very interesting guy, a total entrepreneur, he never got out of the eighth grade, uh, had attorneys, college people, everybody worked for him. This guy would just, we could go on and on, but we'll, get, we'll move along. Mm -hmm. So he was, a, he was a difficult man to work for. When I was 14, put me to work. Hey, after school, you get your ass to work. Uh, like, Jimmy, is that happening for you now, too? Same, same deal? He's putting you to work? Okay. <laughs> he's, got a, he's, got, he's got it made in the shade. So we started working. And uh, when I went to work, he said, okay, you work for him. See you later. And that was it, right? Uh, so he was a lot of trouble. So in, uh, in the mid-'70s, a drunk driver hit me. And, uh, you know, I was on a motorcycle, and he went through an intersection and plowed me, man. I had a beautiful chopper. I just paid 3500 for it in the 70s, and he ran me down. So uh, he had insurance, so I got a settlement. So I'm thinking, oh, the clock's ticking on me working for daddy, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm serious, right? So uh, finally the settlement came through, and I'll never forget. It was after the attorney got his cut, I got, and this was in the 70s, uh, <clears throat> it's like 77. I got $8,700 from my settlement. That's a lot of money. Man. And I had annuities from him, which was vacation pay, et cetera, and it all equaled out to be $11,500. I had $11,500. I walked into my father's office and said, you know, it's been nice working for you, and uh, I hope you enjoy your life, but uh, I'm out of here as long as my two older brothers had already left because they were gonna get in fist fights with him. So I walked in. I was the only one that exited graciously. Right. I went and said, okay, thanks. He looked at me and said, you know what, Jimmy? Everybody has to work for somebody. Mm. And I thought, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm going to have to do that, right? So it's since then, in the, in the mid-70s, I've never looked back. I've never worked for another. The only person I've ever worked for is my family, business, or myself. I've never had a job. And I never got out of high school. It's just, so that 11-8, I never forget the number because that's where, this is where this all comes what from. What did you, with the 11-8, what did you remember? What some of the first I products you bought? I lost my ass for a long time to <laughs> learn to play the game. Everybody was hustling me, right? I knew nothing, right? I mean, I'm out there, you know, buying arcade games and everything. I'm like, oh, Jesus, you know, I go down to like $2,800, right? This ain't much fun, right? But anyway, uh, you know, as you all know, you play to pay in this game, right? Because you've got to go deal with the guys who are smarter than you, and that's how you learn. So... Uh, but once again, I've never looked backwards. I've never had to work for anybody else. And uh, what you see here today is what I've done. And I've lived my whole life and I've had an absolutely great time. No regrets, huh? Oh, oh, no, I'm still having a ball. Look at us, we're sitting here today, come on. Mm -hmm. how, how good is this, right? It don't get any better than this. Um.